Happy Vlogmas. Getting our Christmas tree. That is lush. That might be the one. Finally get to do my Sugar Fina advent. Goal of this weekend was to finish decorating. Here's the decorating footage. <laughs> We're gonna decorate this Christmas tree. This pile is just the ornaments that I've added this year. We felted it up. Felt it up, get it? Also, we forgot we did this last year. Cookie tip. Happy December, happy Vlogmas. She's vlogging in public. Oh, what are you saying? What are we gonna get today? Milo. Milo! Getting our Christmas tree. It is December 2nd, Saturday. I didn't vlog yesterday, I'm so sorry. So, picking it up now, and I'm excited. That is lush. That might be the one. Smelling? Let me have a sniff. Oh, it is smelling. It smells nice. All right, we are home from getting the Christmas tree. We haven't loaded it in the house yet. We'll probably do it. Honestly, in the morning, we gotta like vacuum up its area and all that. I think we're gonna go have some outside time. Um, the goal of this weekend was to just mostly finish decorating. I have made a mess downstairs and everywhere, really. Um, well, that's not too messy, but we still need to decorate this tree. But we've made a mess everywhere of decorations and everything out on the counter. And my goal this weekend is to clean it up and get everything decorated and then put the bins away and just enjoy December. <laughs> and speaking of decorating, I have taken a little bit of like decorate with me footage. Just like the last few years, decorate with me videos are very, very hard because I have small chunks of time to decorate. And sometimes I can't really film while I'm doing it because I got a toddler running around. So I took what I could and I'm going to slap it in this vlog for you. Just show you some bits and bobs that we decorated with this year. I will also link my um, holiday home decor haul up in the corner if you want to see that. And I would also like to thank the sponsor of this portion of the video, which is Aura Frames. We'll get to that in a second. And here's the decorating footage. <laughs> All right, I thought I'd start by showing you my bin of bottle bristle trees. A lot of you have already seen this shelf area on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, go do so. And I get so many questions on how I've built this collection, where I got it all. And guys, this has taken me literal years, like maybe five, six years. I've gotten them at a plethora of places, Target, Home Goods, World Market, Hobby Lobby, which I don't shop at anymore. Uh, Michaels, Anthropology, just random places. If I find one I like, I buy it and I add it to the rainbow shelf. So I did this last year, so I already kind of knew what I wanted. I looked back at pictures from last year to kind of give the same order, but I'm just putting them where I want them, fluffing them up. I'm using like some candle riser thingies to give some some more height, just trying to space them out in a way that I like. But I love, oh, Dance into Brandy Christmas album, no doubt. But I love the way the rainbow tree forest shelf looks. Like it just brings me so much much joy and I almost fell. <laughs> so after all my fluffing and rearranging, this is what I ended up with. I love it. I love all the different colors, all the different sizes and heights. I just absolutely love it. 
Then, for some reason, I moved on to the mantle instead of finishing the shelf. We'll come back to that. I'm replacing the Halloween lights, which we still had up. I just like to have some sort of lights on there. Um, with some, I just like the bright white, white string Christmas lights for this. And then my anthropology beloved gingerbread garland. So I'm just kind of stringing it. I tried to pin it up in the middle and then I realized last year I did two along the mantle and it looks so cute. I'm so happy I bought this, you guys. It was expensive, but I got it on sale and it brings me so much joy. Uh, then moving back to the shelf, I must just be getting things out of the bins as they come. I hung up one stocking. I added my DIY ornament frame that I made last year. These um, wooden houses that I also did a DIY paint on this Lauren Conrad polar bear. I also added this really cute Be Merry garland from World Market. I love the colors. I love the sequins. I love the pom-poms. I love everything about it. It is so cute. And overall, this whole shelf is my very favorite like Christmas decor situation. This whole room, really. And then for the mantle, I just added some like Christmas village type stuff, some houses and snowmen and trees. I believe everything you're seeing I got at Target over the last few years. And then of course, a starring moment for my gingerbread garland that I love probably too much and I've thought about way too much over this past year and I'm just delighted to see it again. And then in the kitchen, I of course again wanted to highlight my Johanna Parker penguins on the shelf, but I also wanted to put one of my pom-pom wreaths behind it. So Bradley is hanging up a command hook and putting it up there for me. Um, once you hang it, you just kind of have to fluff the pom-poms, but then it looks really cute year after year. And then of course we have the Johanna Parker penguin cream and sugar set, which I was playing around with this a little bit. Um, and as you'll see in the end, it changed a lot, but I just love these penguins so much. They bring me so much joy. This was what I was originally starting with, but it just didn't, I needed more. So I did involve the teapot as well. And then this little felt duo from Target. And I just thought this turned out super duper cute. An integral part of my kitchen decor is our Aura frame, which is kindly sponsoring this video. I just put our snowman Johanna Parker cream and sugar set on the sides of these and instantly I love it. I also love this frame. If you haven't heard of Aura frames, it is such a beautiful digital frame company and it will truly blow your mind how great your photos look. So I have the Carver matte frame and aside from the photos looking stunning, the frame itself is beautiful and I love having it on my counter. So this frame is is a horizontal frame, but if you're like me and take most of your photos, I think all of us take all of our photos on our iPhones these days and you have them uh, like, vert uh, I just keep thinking hot dog and hamburger. If you have them vertical, as you see here, they will line up next to each other, which I really love. You get two photos at once. When you open your frame, you'll also download the free app and the app makes it so easy to upload your photos. It's unlimited photos. You don't have to pick and choose as many photos as you like. And it's just very user friendly. The perfect gift for anybody in your life. Both of our mothers are getting this for Christmas. Another feature I love is you can opt to have the live photos still on. So they'll play as little videos right there on your frame, which I just think is fun. The photo comes to life. And it also offers a lot of other options like brightness, how long it stays on each photo. It's just very customizable to what you like. And again, if you're still in need for a gift for one of the mother, any of the parent figures in your life, really anybody in your life, this is a great frame and a great gift. And if you're gifting it, it might be a good idea to pre-open it and pre-upload a few photos for them so they can enjoy those. If you would like to purchase one of these frames, you can go to the link below and use my code, which is Amy Lynn, and that code will get you $30 off their best-selling frames, which includes this Carver matte frame. That is a great chunk off of a great gift. So again, all the details will be in the description. If you get the frame, please let me know how you're liking it. And thank you again to Aura Frames for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now moving on to to the parlor. We got Geppetto. If you've been here for a while, you know Geppetto. He's the OG elf on a shelf. He literally is from my childhood. My mother passed him down to me. He is terrifying, but he's family and I love him. Also, this wicker snowman is a pass down from my childhood from my mom. This is kind of the nostalgia area. These really nostalgic carolers are here. Apparently, we need to dust in this room if you can see all the dust flying. I'm just rearranging the photos, trying to get everything. Also, the candy cane um, garland is from Target. Milo wanted to try to get up on the step stool. But yeah, just a few holiday touches in the parlor. Honestly, I I still have to figure out what I want to put on the piano, um, but a few of the bottle brush mini trees that I have, and then Milo did some decorating of his own right in front of Ludo. For those who ask, yes, Ludo still likes to get under chairs. He's moved more to the ones in the parlor because he fits better, but Milo is decorating it for him. <laughs> I also found this footage of Bradley putting up the tree in Milo's room and in our room and I just mainly left it in here to let you know that 
Bradley will happily put up a tree, but he will not floof it. He leaves the floofing and fluffing for me, and I think it's funny. But that's all the decorating footage I have, so back to the vlog. <laughs> It is full on citrus season. Our Meyer lemons are like pretty much, oh, I'm just so impatient. They're almost yellow. <laughs> There's a little green left and our oranges are turning. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Our Buddha's hand is huge. <gasps> and again, a reminder, it will look like this if you're on the journey with me. If you weren't, now you are. It is, your chocolate? It's advent calendar time. Again, we didn't vlog yesterday, so sorry, <laughs> but Finally get to do my sugar fina advent. Yesterday was like, what was it? Chocolate covered cookie dough balls, incredible. Today it's cookies and cream. Oh my God. I don't know what that means. Literally my two favorite things. You guys ready for advent? Let's see, where's number two? That was number one. Where's number two? Good. All right, let, okay, open it up. Oh, <gasps> what is that? A jam. Say yummy. There it is, number two. Gonna have to be really clear on when it's for Milo and when it's not for Milo. <laughs> Milo tried to eat it yesterday. For, for Ludo, good job. Good buddy. job. This is what they look like. Let's, let's see. It's like a big junior mint. Ooh. Looks like a cookie. Incredible. Yum. Yeah. Oh, wow. This fits so good. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Are those daddy shoes? <laughs> Hi guys! Are we in focus? Never. Hi guys, welcome back. So my plan was to vlog yesterday and then kind of end that vlog there because I wanted to line up with the weeks. Basically the first week wasn't a full week, it was just like a few days. Um, but this weekend, to be honest, in TMI, I had like a rough period and I just was tired and I had a stomach ache and I just wasn't in the mood to vlog, you know? But I am feeling better today. Our tree is up, as you can see. We need to put ornaments on it. I think that's on the list for tonight. Don't look at my hair, it needs to be washed tonight as well, also on the list. But also mostly this weekend, we spent like getting the rest of the house decorated. It was kind of a mess. I did a toy rotation for Milo, which was already going so well. He's got some toys laid out here. He's currently napping. We'll see how much longer he naps. I have been editing. I'm uploading a video. I'm uploading my November favorites. So if you missed that, I'll link it up in the corner. But I just came down to make myself lunch. Um, we just went to the store, but I was so focused on dinners and snacks for Milo that I forgot to think about lunch. <laughs> so I didn't know what to eat. But my main goal for today, while Bradley was out of the house, because I ordered a Christmas present for him, was to go through the massive stack of packages that I have in the hallway. They built up its presents, Black Friday deals, or whatever random things we needed. It's not gonna be the greatest haul, but I thought we could open packages together. So let's do that. Okay, so again, I feel like this makes me look like a crazy package woman. These have been stacking up for a while just because I know that there's a gift for Bradley in there and Bradley's always around when I wanna open them. And then I don't know. So that's what happened. And also a lot of these are gifts. This is a gift for a friend's baby, actually. I hope she's not watching this. I don't think she watches my videos, but my friend from high school moved away. I think it was like two or three years ago. It was like right around when we moved into this house and she 
moved like out of state and she needed somebody to take her Meyer lemon tree and she gave it to me, which I think is like the nicest thing in the world. Trusted me with her Meyer lemon tree. And we have it and for the first time since we've had it, it has so many beautiful, huge Meyer lemons. It's doing so much better than my original Meyer lemon tree. Um, and so I wanna send her a box with a few of the lemons because she never got to have any of her lemons. And she also just had a baby and my favorite thing to gift babies, although it's a little dented, that's annoying. Oh well, is um, the baby horoscope books. My mom got Milo one for his first Christmas. I love horoscope type stuff and it's, he's a Leo and so far it's, he's very accurately a Leo, um, but I mostly just buy them so that I can read them <laughs> before I give them away. Like my niece is a Libra and I got her the Libra one so I could read it and it was spot on. But anytime I go to a first birthday party or I wanna give them a little baby gift, I love the baby horoscope books. I'm gonna read it really quick. And the like artwork is just so cute. Highly recommend. So there's one package. Oh, this I totally bought because I've been cleaning my like devices, like my uh, laptop, my computer, you know, all that. And the stuff I have leaves it streaky. And so I was looking and this is a little two in one cleaner thing. Does it have spray in it? Oh, it does. Oh my God. So basically it has the spray in it. You spray and then the like case itself wipes it clean. Like, hello, magnificent. So I ordered that. This one I already know is a sweater my brother requested for his birthday. Oh, this was a Black Friday purchase for my Foreo. You guys know I love my Foreo UFO. It's like a, these are basically tiny sheet masks that you put onto the device and it's got LED lights and it massages. It's the greatest skincare device. It would be a great gift. I didn't mention it in this year's gift guide because I mentioned it in the last year's gift guide, um, but these were like $5 off and these are one of my favorite ones, so. I stocked up on those. I'm gonna use that tonight. We got a bigger box. What could it be? All right, so I got some toys for Milo. So something I love to do, and I do it all year round, is if I see a toy, a book, anything, like maybe for Milo, I will just add it to my cart and then add it to save for later. And then on Black Friday or Prime Day or just any old time I need a gift, Christmas is birthday, I will scroll through my save for later, see what I've stocked up, see what's on sale. Uh, Alexa will tell me sometimes like, hey, there's a deal in your save for later. And then I know like, she's like, hey, it's $5 off today. Um, so this has been in my save for later for a while and I picked it up for Christmas. It's like a stacker thing, but it, it's like spinny, if you can tell. He's gonna love that. So for Christmas, I got this little decorative tray for the kitchen. <laughs> I think it is so cute. Um, Poppy Days, who I love on Instagram, she has like some raised trays like this in her kitchen and I just thought it was cute. I think you can also use it as like a raised cheese board, um, but we'll play around with it and we'll see if we like it. It was only $10, it went on sale, that's why I bought it. Okay, and the last one, ooh. Okay, my vlog camera died so I had to get the big guns, the big camera, but anyway. <laughs> this was the gift that I got for Bradley, which isn't even that big of a deal. And this is bigger than I thought it's gonna take up his whole stocking. <laughs> but I mentioned this in my stocking stuff or gift guide. It's just like this game pretty much where you like suspend things and if it, like if it all falls down, you lose or you have to take all those pieces. Um, I watched a oh, Zoe and Alfie vlog where they played this and it looked so fun. So that's for Bradley, I gotta hide that. We needed some new microfiber cleaning cloths and this pack was in my cart and then on sale for Black Friday for like $5 off, so I picked it up. <laughs> I was just editing myself talking about this in my November favorites, but it's the Amazon Smart smart plug. We have one down here um, for our tree and like our mantle lights and like any lights I have up all year round, I leave plugged into that and I can tell to turn it on and off. I don't want to trigger your devices. And I love the plug so much. It is pricey. It's like $25. So I always like wait for it to go on sale. It went on sale for 14. So I snagged another one for our upstairs tree so I can lay in bed and tell her to turn it on and off and just be absolutely delighted. But I really love this thing. Highly recommend. Would be a great stocking stuffer as well. Milo loves these lift to flat books so much and we barely have any Christmas books. I like forgot that we didn't have any Christmas books and I was totally planning on doing the Christmas book advent where like you wrap up the books, you open one each night, you read it and then I would save like Twas the Night Before Christmas and Polar Express and some of those more towards Christmas but I, I, we literally had three Christmas board books. I'm like, oh, we need more and I still need more, but I've had this in my cart for months. It's Santa's Workshop. It's all from the same brand that we love. I have a lot of their books linked in my Amazon storefront, but basically just has these flaps and he loves opening them. Um, so he will be excited. I'm not gonna give this to him as a Christmas present. I'm gonna give it to him today when he wakes up from nap. He'll be very excited about that. And then my boy is so into one puzzles and two shapes, like he, has letters and numbers down, he's got his colors down, he is really into shapes. I'm biased, obviously, but I think Milo's 
pretty smart. And I think it's because like he just, he likes, when we're playing, he likes to be quizzed. He likes to tell you what things are. And so we have some shapes down, but we don't have some of the, we don't have like oval or rectangle. He might know diamond, I don't know. He knows these six for sure, or these five. Um, but this was a Melissa and Doug he loves the chunky puzzles. Like he's so into puzzles and shapes right now. So this was perfect. It went on sale for Black Friday. Again, it was in my cart. Gotta hide this for Christmas, but he will be so excited. And then along the same lines is another chunky puzzle, but it's the Mickey and Friends. I thought this was so cute. And Milo is obsessed with all of them. We have bath toys of all of them. We do not have Huey, Dewey, and Louie or Chippendale, but he knows um, the rest of them. D-Duck, Mick Mick, Goosey, like he loves them. Yeah, we just, we need more puzzles. I thought I like to be very intentional with Christmas. Christmas gift giving. I just pay attention to the kind of stuff he's into and what he loves. And right now we're into puzzles, we're into shapes, we're into Mickey. Yeah, I also ordered a new Love Every Box that should be here in a few days. I will stash some of those away for Christmas, but yeah. Finally opened all the packages. Bradley's gonna come home and be delighted that the stack of boxes is gone. I need to break them all down now and recycle them, but let me put in my chicken nuggies first. <laughs> it is a bit later now. We are outside. Bradley's home. Wave, babe. Uh, Bradley's home, Milo's up from nap. And it is the most beautiful, sorry to brag, for those of you freezing, most beautiful December day ever. Like, I, I don't need a jacket. What's the weather you think? 70? It is stunning out. Milo is watering the herbs, that's his job. Bradley just confirmed, it's 71 degrees out here. It is absolutely stunning, so all four of us are out here. I just was um, kind of deadheading the red Mexican sunflowers because I saw a video that said as long as you keep them like, trimmed and the dead ones cut off, it will keep producing. Oh, and there's also a couple dead potato things. Should I get some gloves and should we see? I think we should. Let me get some gloves. This is not a potato, that's just a dead sunflower. That's a weed. But this, oh, looky there! Got another one, they're purple! Hey guys. We're in the car, as you can see. We are having a little Burbank evening. We're going to our very favorite Thai food place. It's called Summer Buffalo. Uh, I don't know if we've said this, but our apartment before we moved was in downtown Burbank, and so it has a special place in our heart now. So yeah, we're having a little Burbank evening. We're gonna walk around downtown Burbank, have our favorite Thai food. Bradley's here, Milo's Yum. here. My Yum. sister's gonna join us, so. I'm already hungry. Me too. Okay guys, we are home now. I totally meant to vlog the food, but I was too hungry. So, I ate it. It was excellent. It was so that. good. Uh, did we say the name of the place? Yes. Okay, in case we didn't, Summer Buffalo, downtown Burbank, delish. Uh, I just took a shower, Milo's in bed. Um, we're gonna decorate this Christmas tree because we still haven't. Let me just show you how marvelous. It's a beautiful tree. It really is like, it is up. stunning. Oh, we gotta give it some water. Um, but yeah, we'll get out our plethora of ornaments. This one is just kind of like the fun tree. The parlor tree is the classy tree, and then the upstairs tree for now is the Disney tree. But once Milo's like older, he'll somebody asked me at work, they're like, "Do you have a tree?" And I was like, "We have a lot." Also, I made cookies last night. Not my best work, only because I like overcooked them a little bit. But we just reheated a few. Oh, I'm gonna have some milk. I have found out the most important part is not what's in it because it's just butter and sugar and vanilla extract. Like, there's no like magic recipes. Like, oh, what, what's the what's the correct science? You know, like it, it's just it's all gonna taste delicious. It's how long it's in the oven, not too long. And you gotta sure. put it in the fridge first. Speaking of cookies, cookie tip: we just used the Nestle uh, yeah. Nestle Tulaos recipe. Um, and I make the full one and then I split it up into three batches. So we have the batch we're eating for a few days and then I got two batches in the freezer for like a Sunday when I'm lazy and I want cookies, bam. So if you're gonna go through the work, like sometimes when Bradley makes them, he makes a half batch, but I'm like, screw that. If you're gonna go through the work of it, make the full batch, freeze them. And we'll pop some of these in the oven for Santa on Christmas Eve too. But yeah, we're going to Turn on Home Alone. We've both been dying to watch it, so we figure we'll put on something cozy while we decorate the tree, eat our cookies, have a cozy evening, and go to bed, because we're tired, always tired. This pile is just the ornaments that I've added this year. 
I'm having a real felt moment, which I'm really into the felt, but also um, we've learned toddler hack, put felt and soft things down low on the tree, um, just cause he likes to play with them. Like he will be taking ornaments off the tree, so you might as well make them soft and unbreakable. So we felted it up, felt it up, get it? Also, we forgot we did this last year, but I think we saw a TikTok of a family like cuts off the end of their Christmas tree each year and keeps it, you wanna sniff? We will forever be so upset we didn't do it the first year. Oh, we're nibbling? That is not for you. They got a haircut, by the way. I don't know if you've seen them since. But should we like display this somewhere? Do we just keep it in a little box? Like, I don't know. But it's sick. 